Welcome to a demonstration of the membrane filtration testing procedure using neogen filters and ampules. After viewing this video, you should be able to properly run and incubate your samples. A short self-check quiz follows the presentation. We encourage you to pause and review the video as needed prior to taking the quiz. Prior to beginning the test, Remove your ampules from the refrigerator to allow them sufficient time to reach room temperature. This takes approximately 30 minutes. Begin by choosing either white or black neogen filters, depending on your need. This would also be a good time to make sure they are labeled appropriately for the samples you are running. Ensure the equipment has been cleaned and set up properly. This should include checking to make sure the vacuum pressure is set to no higher than 15 psi. Holding the base only, use a twisting motion and gentle downward pressure to seat the neogen filter on the adapter. Do not press down on the lid or the funnel, as this could make it difficult to separate monitor sections later. Next, remove the monitor cover from the neogen filter and aseptically pour your sample onto the membrane. Immediately place the cover back onto the monitor to prevent contamination. Open the valve and apply vacuum pressure. Allow the entire sample to be drained from the monitor. Close the valve. An optional step, lift the cover and rinse the inside walls of the funnel with sterile buffer. Place the lid back on monitor. Open the valve to reapply the vacuum long enough to pull the additional buffer through the membrane. Close the valve. Break any residual vacuum pressure in the system by briefly lifting the neogen filter from the adapter. You do not need to remove the adapter from the stopper, just from the monitor. Gently re-secure the neogen filter into the adapter as before. Using your ampule of choice, lift the lid and firmly squeeze the ampule two to three times to cover the surface of the membrane and media. Here are a couple of tips to follow when dispensing media. Do not drip the media across the membrane, and do not touch the membrane with the ampule tip. Also, try to keep the ampule and your fingers out of the funnel area as much as possible, working just over the top of the monitor. When finished, replace the lid to prevent contamination. Open and close the valve quickly, just long enough to allow the vacuum pressure to draw the media into the pad beneath the membrane. Do not overfilter during this step. Immediately break any residual vacuum pressure remaining in the system by lifting the monitor from the adapter. Examine the monitor. There should not be liquid pooled on top of the membrane. When inspected from beneath, the pad should be moist, not oversaturated or dry. If you've performed this step correctly, you'll see a small pocket of air around the bottom port. Place the end cap on the bottom port of the monitor. Remove the funnel section by gently twisting the funnel apart from the base and lid. Appropriately discard the funnel section and quickly fit the lid onto the base to create a disposable petri dish with your sample. Taping small stacks of plates together or using a Tupperware container is a great way to keep multiple samples together. You can now incubate the neogen filter petri dishes topside down at the temperature indicated for the media used with the filter. After placing your samples in the incubator, clean up your workspace and the manifold. Reference the neogen filter assembly video for the exact procedure. After rinsing with sterile water, the equipment can be disassembled. Invert the manifold and place it on paper towel to air dry. Some manifolds can be autoclaved for sterility as well. Following incubation, count and record all results appropriate for your chosen media. Dispose of the plates in accordance with all applicable local, state, and federal regulations. The used monitors should be treated as biohazardous waste since they have the ability to grow organisms, even if none are visible. If you have questions about this testing procedure, Neogen has a dedicated technical service team specific to this product line available to assist you.